We are quickly discovering that this is not just a fish store, guys. This is a Japanese superstore. Do you speak English? ADA style tanks. Beta section. Amphibians right here. This is the freakiest stuff ever. Look at these. Amazing discus. It's like a pancake. Never seen some of these fish. Arowana. Look at all of these. There's saltwater section. That's how big it is. I God. Oh my gosh. I just saw the okay, they have the craziest thing here ever. What's up guys, we are here in Tokyo, Japan, and we are about to be visiting one of the best fish stores that exists here. Now this store is called Papa or Papu Aqua Garden. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but as you can see from the signage here, they have salt water, fresh water. They're gonna have exotics like plecos, discus. They got planted tanks and reef tanks. So no matter what part of the hobby you are in, I really think you're gonna enjoy what this store has to offer. We're here bright and early, and it looks like they are currently getting a shipment in. I don't know if it's fish, or plants or what it is, but we're literally gonna get to see some brand new fish. The early bird gets the worm, guys. Also, the second mouse gets the cheese. Now, when I was looking here in Tokyo, Japan, I didn't find that many fish stores, so I was really surprised when I found a fish store in general, but also one this big that is two stories and that carries everything that you might ever need through your adventure in the aquarium hobby. We okay? We good? Okay. Do you speak English? No. No? <laughs> Does anyone here speak English? Uh, Upstairs. So right away, the first thing you see is this massive tank with plants. And then they got these bins, which are full of plants, like for ponds. They're like lily plants, something like that. But they're, look at these as well. These are really cool. The Japanese take their gardens very seriously. And so this is a perfect example of, look at this. La lechuga. Look how fresh these plants look. These are insane. They have almost every kind of plant you can imagine. And then they even have these little ones here, like in bags. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So can you give me a tour and show me some of the coolest things you have? We have a full pack product for the front. Sea water fish and uh, Japanese fish and the tropical fish. I'm professional about products. Are you best with fresh water, salt water, or which is your favorite, or which do you know? Or, but All of them. My part is second floor. Oh, second floor. Okay, so there's two floors. Yeah, two floors. So what's really exciting for me to see are these Japanese ADA style tanks. The ADA style planted tanks are really popular all over the world now. Europe and America especially. It's such a growing part of our hobby. Japan is where that style comes from, and it's really cool to be able to see them here in Japan, where they originated from. They got the little tissue culture pots. What I can say about their planted section is that everything is incredibly beautiful. Everything looks like it was bagged yesterday or today even, like so green and perfect. Look at these plants. And the thing is there's plants everywhere, like in all sorts of different bags. Some of this stuff seems really organized and then some of it like seems kind of scattered like this, like, like these, these three, they're just sitting here on the shelf. So now we are moving into their freshwater fish section. This whole thing is their beta section. All right, so right here, they have all their betas. Look at these, look at all these. So these are each 2,000 Japanese yen. That's about 20 US dollars. This one for some reason is 4,000 Japanese yen, which is 40 US dollars. They got a whole bunch of them right here. We got a lot of betas actually. Okay, so we are quickly discovering that this is not just a fish store, guys. This is a super store. They even have some amphibians right here. Check this out. Oh my God, look at him. He is so cool. Yo, this is the freakiest stuff ever. Look at these. They got salamanders in here. Look at these frogs, look how big they are. These are 4,000 yen, 45 US dollars. They got Smurfettes in here. These are their crayfish. Check that out. Like they got blue one. They got a white one. They got orange one. I really like this guy. This guy is super cool. Look at him. Oh, dude, and up here they got turtles. Wow. So guys, this store truly does have a little bit of everything. Okay, so then we have this section here of fish that are already bagged. So I'm not quite sure why these are bagged as opposed to all the fish over there you can see are in the tanks. But if we look like right here, instantly we got some clown loaches in here. This is three clown loaches for 1,280 Japanese yen. That's about 15 US dollars. And they got all sorts of fish in these bags. These are guppies right here. All right, so. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty tall and everyone here in Japan is on the smaller and shorter side. So uh, watch your head on the wire. Oh my God, oh my gosh. I just saw the, okay, they have the craziest thing here ever. What is this, bro? Bro, what is this? 
Oh, we have a turtle? What? Oh my gosh, they got a turtle for sale. Wow, guys. Look at these amazing discus. These are, wow, that's insane. I just got discus for one of my aquariums recently, so now I actually know what can makes a really nice discus versus some of the other discus, and these are all amazing. This entire wall is dedicated to discus. Look at how beautiful some of these are. Look at this red and white one. Some of these are absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen anything like that. An orange, white, and red discus. This thing is fire. This thing is so fire. Are you kidding me? I've never seen discus like these before. This one's purple. Guys, this is a Thanos fish. You almost never see like a deep purple color in fish like this. Guys, this massive one right here, selling for 20,000 Japanese yen. This is a $200 discus. Look how big it is. It's like a pancake, literally. It's like the size of my face. Okay, so now I know why they put discus on their front signs because this place specializes in discus. I mean, my God, they've got I mean, some of the best discus I've ever seen. Okay, so right here, you're gonna find a lot of the fish that you would find in the US. Oh, look at these Waku puffers. Look how bright orange their eyes are. He is so cute. He is beautiful. This is the kind of puffer that is. Now what's crazy guys about puffer fish is here in Japan they actually eat puffer fish. I'm pretty sure it's the toxic kind that needs to be prepared a very special way but as we were walking the streets of Japan the other night we saw restaurants that had fish tanks directly on the street with massive puffers in there that you could see and obviously those were all being used for consumption. I'm sorry Cory from Aquarium Co-op. They eat a lot of puffer fish here in Japan. Oh this is a beautiful fish. I've never seen some of these fish before guys. Look at this guy. I don't know what this is. Look at him, he's mean. Oh wow, they got a flower horn. Look at him, he is beautiful. He's 22,000 Japanese yen. Oh, he's aggressive, he wants me too. You don't want a piece of meat. Oh my God, look at this. You guys know what this is. And we're not in Canada at Joey's place. We're in Japan and this tank is full of arowana. Look at them. All these arowanas are only about $35 each. Oh, whoa. Okay, so clearly when you have this many tanks, this many fish, you're gonna need a bagging station like this. I'm assuming people come in here all the time, buy tons of fish in bulk. They're also probably getting a lot of fish in bulk, and so I'm pretty sure what she's doing is she's unloading a package that they just got in this morning. This entire section right here is dedicated towards freshwater shrimp. You got the red, you got the yellows, you got the blues. Oh, these are the cherry white ones. Wait, what? Is that a cow in there? A pig? What the heck? Looks like they just got these ones. I'm not kidding you. There are so many fish tanks in here. Look at this wall right here. This entire wall is goldfish. What's this guy doing in there? How did he get in there? All right, guys, so these are koi. You might not know this, but koi are actually bred in Japan. The very first koi originated here in Japan. That's why I came to Japan on this trip. So I got a chance to go up in the mountains in Nagaoka, Japan, which is about two hours away from here in Tokyo. And I got to pick out my very own koi. It's gonna be a really cool video, so if you haven't seen that already, I'll leave a link in my description below. Look at all of these amazing goldfish. So this is their goldfish section. Now you're gonna see a lot of these fish are red and white goldfish. A lot of times in the US you're seeing yellows, oranges, but here in Japan they breed a lot of fish to be red and white because those colors supposedly bring good fortune, good luck. They like those colors and that's why just like with the koi that we saw in some of my other videos, so many of these fish are bred to be red and white. This is their saltwater section. This is all my saltwater people. It's time. Let's go. Check out what they got. They got some cool stuff actually. All right, so we are now in their saltwater section. These are all of their saltwater fish. They got a Ghania pora right there, some pagatas, got a mushroom. These are all GSP. We got some lobos. They got jellyfish. These are blue blubber jellyfish.
guys. Nemo is universal. Oh, look at look at this little guy. Look at this orange frogfish. He, Mr. Grumpy. All right, guys. So everything that you have seen so far, this is just the downstairs level. There's actually an upstairs to this entire aquarium store. That's how big it is. I haven't been up here, so I don't know what's up here. If it's anything like the first floor, it's gonna be crazy. Okay, so it looks like this is where they keep most of their dry goods on the upstairs floor. Right here, you can see the bi orb. Shout out George Farmer. They do have some tanks up here, so I'm gonna show you all the ones that I can find. We were down there earlier, but this is the street, and this entire thing is fish store, not even pet store, just fish store for the most part. They're selling terrarium stuff here. We do got some tanks up here, like I mentioned. Look at that, so cute. Okay, I've never seen these tanks before. On the packaging, it shows that you can keep a saltwater reef tank in there with two cowfish, all these chromis, and this little mini. I like this thing. Really cool. I don't really know what it is, but guys, should I get this and take it back home and set it up? What do you think, mom? Get it. It's so. Is that actually a fish tank? Yeah, it's a fish tank. Look at the box. Wow. Kind of cute. It is kind of cute. Yeah, man, where's their Fritz Aquatics? They don't got no turbo start. They have a whole section here dedicated to ADA. It feels like I'm shopping at like a, a home goods or a kitchen store for like knives, but no, these aren't knives. These are scissors for planted tanks. So this company mom in Japan, uh -huh. they manufacture tanks and aquarium supplies. They're like one of the first companies that embraced like the really like this style tank. Like the, these are all the Japanese style, like super clean. Like everything is yeah, crystal clear. Cool. All the equipment is clear, including the thermometer here. Oh, that's actually very cool. Hello. Hello. Are there any fish in here? Yes. Oh, look. Yeah. So uh, you work just up here? Here? Yeah. Yes. How many people work here? Fifteen. Fifteen? No. I noticed there's a lot of people working here. It's actually really impressive. But there's also, you guys just opened. And since we got here, there have been like 20 people in here shopping. At so. least. How long have you been working here? Half a year. Half a year. Yeah. Well, you're doing a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry, I can't guide you. <laughs> it's okay. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. What does that mean? Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And you're back in Tokyo Drift out here. So one experience I just had in this store that you guys didn't get to see was Mihao, the lady who was helping us in the beginning and the end of this video. We asked her to give us a full tour if she could spend like 30 minutes giving us a tour of the store. And she politely had to decline. She apologized and said she would love to, but she can't because she had other work to do. And that's a great example of the culture here in Japan. People are very polite, but diligent, and they're very disciplined. And so when they know that they have work or a job to do, they must do that. Not that many people in Japan know how to speak English. There's a massive language barrier here, but even with that barrier, the people here, they are incredibly warm. They will go above and beyond to help you, to try to help you. So as you can see, this was a one of a kind, amazing Japanese superstore. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a like down below. I also wanna know, how did this fish store compare to your fish store? Better, worse, what do you think? Would you be happy to call this your fish store or you would go broke spending all of your money here every single weekend? Let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm doing a few other videos here in Japan. I'm going to Nagaoka up in the mountains Mountains, which is where they breed koi. I'm gonna be picking out some koi for my pond, so make sure to check out those videos if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.